Salutations, dear viewers. You're on with Nexon of the Vast Nexus, and welcome back to the Ark's Survival Evolved Highlight Reel. Almost choked on my own intro there for a second. This time we're tackling the central cave. It's the one near the central volcano, but not in the central volcano. That one we won't be able to open until we've beaten all the bosses. Hold while I adjust my cool. If that intro came out weak, it's because I forgot to adjust my microphone. These ARC recordings are impromptu and not to the standard of most of my Let's Play recordings, although some people might complain that that's probably a low standard. Also known as people who've never tried. Or people who've gotten to the top and made themselves so big they forgot what it was like to be at the bottom. Happens more often than you'd think. So yes, this cave is a significant distance away from my Life's Beach beach base. So we're taking flatbed air here, my one of my Quetzals, in order to fly us there. We could have just cryoed Spelunky and gone by Argent Davis, but we'd probably get there the same speed anyway. You can already see the massive volcano in the distance. Good source of obsidian. I mean, I do think the caves have it in a higher concentration, but at least at the top of the volcano, so long as you've got a few points into fortitude and a ghillie suit, you don't have to worry about getting murked. Mind you, on your way up the volcano, you could run into T-Rex and Allosaurs. And Carnos. Raptors, Pulmonoscorpus. If you're in the volcano, or at the top of it, you're fine, but on the, it's a long way up. Let's just put it that way. Now, I'm probably going to halfway mark rest my Quetzal, because its stamina is already running out. Yes, this Quetzal was intended for moving... Ankylosaurs and Dodecurus from mining sites back to my base. Unfortunately, its weight-bearing capacity is not up to standard for that purpose. In fact, loading the three Ankies and the two Dodics, as well as an Argent Avis to fly them to and from, becomes a problem. And of course, I've seen suggestions that I should build loading docks so that I don't need an Argent Davis to fly creatures onto platforms like this, but considering foundations or pillar ceiling foundations built on the map prevent resource spawn, and that I'm not sure at what range that effect takes place, I would rather not risk it. Now this is another relatively easy cave, although one thing that complicates it compared to our last contender is the Onik, the bats. Now, last time we were able to get a Araneo. I recently crafted a saddle for it and found out that its weight capacity is the worst. My character has enough levels and weight to be able to handle 500 units of it. I don't use the term pounds because that seems a little unrealistic. But yes, 500 units of weight. So, and I expect my mounts to be able to handle at least 300 of that. Because I don't use my full 500 all the time, but between heavy armor, decent weapons, and a suitable quantity of ammunition, you would be surprised how quickly all of that weight gets used up. So, if I'm getting my northern orientation correct, and I like to think that I am, we are approaching, or we're in the correct direction, to get to the cave that we're looking for. We're going to try to go in and leave with an Onik. To facilitate that, of course, we have bug spray because for some reason it works on bats. And more rotten meat. My concern, however, is that Onik are an airborne adversary, so finding one within reach without aggroing it is going to prove difficult. If you've seen my previous video, you'll know that my attempts at getting our Neo went a little awry. Eh, 
And we're there. Yeah, that didn't take too long. Not much of a base here, just the basic cot out in the middle of nowhere. So let's give Spelunky a light source and a weight upgrade. Another lag spike. That looks like we've already aggroed something. Sounds like our Neo. I was hoping to save the bug spray until we had confirmation of what we were looking for, but apparently that's out. Corpus. My last venture in here was on the back of a Megalania. That did not go well. It was not able to handle the Onic very well. have to show some caution. Megalosaurus can occasionally spawn in this cave. That sounds like Onik, but they aren't moving out because the spray prevents us from aggroing them. I can't pass up Obsidian at this point. I really can't. Okay, a few things here that have just been acquired that are utterly, utterly unnecessary. Let's keep the weight low. Weight of all that obsidian will accumulate very, very quickly. However, it's daytime for now, so if we do run into a Megalosaurus, it should be asleep. Okay, so. Very cautious if our Neo has taught us anything. I'd like to approach from the rear, but I don't know what the wingspan of that thing is gonna do. Ah! Okay, Onik didn't want the rotten flesh. A useful tool for those of you who, well, play this game, frankly. Um, Dodo decks. 
because a prime meat will work much, much better. That's a lot of Arthropleura. As I mentioned, these caves are difficult. There's a swarm of piranhas. They are, however, no match for my berry. The single player creates a particular danger because there is no one to cover your back when you are exploring these locations, which means that you need to keep your wits about you. Prime meat doesn't take much effort, but carry too much of that stuff, and it goes off practically in your hands. They're both level 16, so it really doesn't matter. That's a bug. The onyx symbol has been replaced by the seeker symbol. wearing out before long anyways. I think we'll have to wait to refresh it before we attempt another tame. We're not going for the Aranea. Let's lure them out to reduce complications. Barry is starting to get just a little overburdened. Well, we have absurd amounts of raw meat. I already have stores back at the base that are absolutely full. And here we have it. 
Artifact of the Clever. By the sounds of things, there are still Onik in the vicinity. Perhaps we can get the creature that we seek. At this point, though, we do have to wait until I can refresh my bug spray. Light back. Is that literally just a big chunk of obsidian? That is just a big chunk of obsidian. a good pair to tame, too. <sighs> How tiresome. I think we've cleared all of the onic in the cave. saddle. Hmm. What to discard? What was that? Excess of fish meat as well. We'll have to leave the rest of the hole. Good thing we didn't touch it. Yes, it would appear that we're going to have to leave this cave without an onik. It's not a huge problem. They'll be in plenty of caves in the future. And no encounter with a Megalosaurus. While that encounter could prove problematic, even deadly, I've been looking to tame a Megalosaurus as it's one of the best mounts for exploring the larger caves. Yet so far, in all of the caves that I have explored, I have not seen a single one. In any of my ventures therein. Well, it was a quicker cave exploration, given that I wasn't really given much opportunity to attempt to at tame. And yet another notch in Spelunky's board of accomplishments for cave plundering. Or Spelunking. In any case... Well, oh, that... In any case... Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you'll return for the rest of this ARC highlight series. I hope you'll explore the channel in order to find other works that I've done that might pique your interest. And I sincerely hope that you'll support the channel with a subscription. And I hope you're all staying... Well, that's a lot of ands. That's a lot of ands. Anyway...
That being said, I hope you're all staying happy and healthy out there in the world today. And as always, fare thee well. <laughs>